Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about another one of the many ways in which you can make the most of your NAS. It's so another quick video and today I want to talk about how to download in bulk form all of your favourite podcasts automatically onto your NAS. You only really have to do this once per podcast and then every now and then all your podcasts will be stored ready to access on your NAS in batch form. And again, you can stream these via DLNA to all your devices or use internet services to access it anywhere in the world or just download them automatically or manually to your mobile phone to listen to on the commute. So, let's get started. First thing you're going to need to do on your QNAP is install the application Download Station. If you don't already have it installed, go to the App Center and on the Categories list, click Download here and there it is right there in the middle. It's a completely free application and let's open it up. Once you've opened it up, this is where we download everything. You can download FTP, NZB, BT, RSS, and HTTP style downloads. There are, if you need to download files onto your NAS, you're almost certainly going to use this application. Now, for the selective podcast, depending on the podcast you listen to, if you go to their own website, chances are somewhere on that page will be the letters RSS and the ability to have a link to feed into your podcast downloader of choice. What I recommend, however, is to go to podbay.fm and type the name of your podcast. It's pretty much the go-to resource for podcasts and RSS feeds. Just like my previous video, we'll be using the Bugle podcast because it is bloody sensational and also because I'd like as many people as possible to hear about this podcast. So, in order to get this onto your NAS, where it says open RSS feed, right click and go to copy link address. Then on the QNAP, on the side here, at the bottom you've got RSS. What we need to do is click the add function. We'll give it a name, we'll just call this Bugle. We give it the URL we've copied. We can then store the location of temporary files and finished files, which can let them go into the download folder. So as they're slowly downloading, they'll be in the download folder if they're, you know, a folder made up of many folders, uh, many files, and it will move to download. But for now, they'll all live in there. We then click apply. And what it does is it says it's found it. And if we want to create any filters, so if we're looking, for example, looking at these lists here, if we want one that involves a certain person, such as Hondi Gara, uh, Hondi Karabolu or different individual people or a subject, we can add those search keywords in to only give us those if we choose. If we don't want to use any of those filters, you know, like numeric numbers, you only want ones going forward from a certain number onwards because you've listened to a bunch in the past, you can add those filters too. So now we've got our RSS feed for the bugle and straight away, as you can see on the left, all of these bugles are now available to download. On the right hand side, that is the official list up to date at this time of recording. What we can do is either we can download all of them by clicking there and it will download every single episode. Or we can be selective and download. So say we wanted the most recent episode. Click there and just click the download button. That's it. It will add it to our download list and now it's downloading that episode of this podcast onto the NAS. And it will be in our downloads folder. So if we open the file manager in our download folder, there's our temporary file file. So the temporary file is being held in this folder and it will be moved over to the completed download folder once it's finished. And that's it. Actually, progress at 77%. And this folder can be synchronized with your mobile device very easily if you want it to be um, automatic. As you can see, the file is finished. Once a file is finished, you can just right click the item and you can remove it. And what removing will do is it will remove it from the list, but not from the NAS. If you want to remove it and the file, click remove and delete data. But for now, we're just going to remove that from the task list. And there you have it. If we go to the file station app, go back into download, and there's our episode of the Bugle. We can listen to that on our PC. We can stream it via DLNA. 
and you can do everything you need to do. And this could be automatic or it can be manual. It is completely up to you. But that is how to download batches or individual podcasts to your QNAT NAS. I'll be going through different forms of download on this device along with Synology very soon. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. And if you found it useful, do check out my other videos. Thank you so much for watching. Cheerio.